Hello, it's week 11 of season 3 of The Andy Griffith Show. This week's episode title is Convicts at Large. Morning, what's up this week? Well, we have these three ladies that escaped from the state prison. Their names are Nod, Naomi, and Sally. And Andy hears about the escape on the police radio at the courthouse. Meanwhile, I've got the day off, and I'm going fishing with Floyd. But then Floyd's car stops running in the middle of nowhere, and it won't start again. And I say, Floyd, why didn't you put gas in this car? You're going to drive through the country. You're supposed to make sure the tank is full. And Floyd says it's because I was driving, and I took a shortcut and got lost, and I used up all the gas. So Floyd and I started walking. There's some gas, and we come up on the old, old Nelly cabin, and somebody's in there. And I tell Floyd, I thought I heard O'Malley tell me he was going to be in Detroit for a few weeks. And Floyd says, well, maybe he's written the cannon out. And I say, no, O'Malley don't need the money. So we go on up to it. And it turns out that's the cabin where those three ladies, the escaped convicts, found to, to hide away in. So they let you in and you ask for gas and then they take your gun and they hold you and Floyd. And they make us sit on the couch. And they force me to call Andy on the phone and say O'Malley is back from Detroit. And that Floyd and I are spending the night at his place because we're tired. And Andy says okay. And says we should be on the lookout for free escaped women convicts. And then he hangs up. And then the ladies put on some music and they want to dance. And I say, I don't want to dance. But Maud points the gun at me. And I say, well, okay, at least let me lead. And then I pull away from her. And she wants to know what I'm doing. And I say, I'm doing the dip. If we're going to dance, let's do it right. And then later I tell her, don't hold me so tight. And then with another song, Naomi crashes a flower tot over Floyd's head. And I yell, what's wrong? And Maud said, that was Naomi's and her ex-husband's song. And then they force Floyd to go into town for groceries with Sally. And uh, Andy sees them there and wants to talk, but... Um, but uh, then he sees Floyd with the woman, and he says, Oh, it looks like a fun party y'all are having at O'Malley's place. And Andy thinks it's funny, and then they drive off. And then Andy sees Mr. O'Malley get off the bus from out of town. So now Andy knows something's fishy going on there, and he and O'Malley drive out there. Meanwhile, Floyd and Sally come back with the groceries. And Andy and O'Malley see Sally come outside to get some water for cooking. And Andy steals the water bucket through the kitchen window, and he empties it. So Naomi will have to come out to get more. And then Andy and O'Malley arrest her quietly. And then Sally comes out to see what's going on, what's key to Naomi, and they do the same thing to her. And then Andy sees you through the kitchen window and, and tells you to um, get the third woman to come outside. So I ask her, say, why don't you and I go outside and get some water? And she says no. And I say... You want to go out and get some fresh air? And she says no. But she puts on some music, and I start dancing with her. And I say, now nah, you just gotta relax. Just flow with me. Let me guide you into the land of rhythm and pleasure. And I make sure to move her outside so Andy and I can catch her. And then back at the courthouse, I tell Andy that Floyd the civilian sure didn't know what to do out there, like I did. An experienced law, man. And then you see the headline in the paper the next day. Local barber kept captures escaped convicts. And I read that and I say, well, they're crying out loud. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next week for episode 12.